the other day i was coloring with my markers and realized that most of them were actually dead So I went straight on to Amazon and searched for some cheap alternatives for my Hugo markers which I had previously reviewed on this channel. I came across some markers called Touch Schools and I immediately bought a set of 60 markers. Are the Dutch cool markers. They cost about 2500 rupees or $30. The first thing I did was to swatch all the 60 colors in the marker set. And now it's time to start the final drawing. Since I finished sketching, it's time to start inking the drawing. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, do it in your face. I've been going in, oh, I'm a close chase. I can't wait no more, man, I got a bloody day. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, do it in your face. I've been going in, oh, I'm a close chase. I can't wait no more, man, I got a bloody day. Since I finished inking this drawing, it's time to start coloring with the Dutch code markers. The markers are blending really good and the ink feels high quality as well. Due to the square shape of these markers, it is pretty hard to uncap and close them quickly. Also, holding these markers for too long is actually kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. Long as it's I was kind of tired coloring continuously, so I decided to recreate the marker tower from one of my previous videos. The thing I like about these markers is that there are a wide variety of colors to choose from and they are really vibrant. At the same time, there is also a lack of purple color shades in the set. Oh 
off. The mockers are really easy to store and use as they came in a sturdy box. And I'm pretty much done with this drawing. I had a lot of fun using the touch cool markers and would definitely recommend you guys to try them out. I think I would give them an overall score of 8.5 by 10. Enjoy the reveal and I'll see you guys in the next video.